got a phone call, jumped in the truck, grabbed the trailer, and heading back to Sarnia. Welcome to Life with Bilsov. I'm your host, Bilsov. We got a phone call today saying the old 6 liter LS with a 4L80 transmission is ready to pick up. So I was all caught up at work, so I figured out what the hell I'll run out, shoot out, and uh, pick this sucker up with a little trailer. So come along for the ride, we'll grab her, and we'll see how dirty it is because it's gonna need some tear down and rip apart. And it's not, because I got a complete alternator, starter, everything. Let's go take a gander, why wouldn't we? Yeah, we are. Freaking right we are. As you can see in the rear camera there, we're gonna drive back to the shop to make sure nothing's freaking moving around, Captain. Because I just have her tied down with the exhaust manifolds. So there's not really a hell of a lot of spots to grab a hold of this brick. So we'll get this thing home, and see if we can't find a parking spot for her, Captain. Don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the notification bell bar button. If you like the uh, six liter with the four L80 build, why wouldn't you? Well, there's a six liter, Jim. She meet her home. I'll tell you one thing. The old six liter LS's, they're sure an ugly looking thing, aren't they, when they're stock like that? We're gonna clean all this shit up. Hopefully I can use this compressor and not my compressor, because my compressor's way over there and I'd be decent to use that compressor. That's a lot of engine, Captain. Look at it. Oh yeah. Decent. But we're gonna get her cleaned up here with the old power washer. Then we'll start tagging stuff and disassembling, take wiring harness off, take off the fronts and this and that's the other thing. But this will be a next weekend adventure because it's uh, Thanksgiving weekend this weekend. So it's not going to be much going on this weekend, but I got a power washer. I'll show you when I'm done and we'll see how much better it looks, if it even looks better. Well, there we go. Brian, stop by. See you, Brian. Doc, right here. Come here. Doc. Dave, the dog's running away. Well, there we go. We're out of daylight. Brian just left. I got the whole wiring harness off of the engine. So now, as you can see, kind of, it's bald, no wiring. So now I'll be able to clean it up a little better. I gotta take all the front pulleys and all the alternator and we'll pull off that pump and that pump and all that kind of pump. And then we'll pull off the training lines and this and that and the other thing. We'll split her apart and we'll pick ourselves up. What are those things called? 
An engine stand? We need one of them for sure. I got in my uh, toothbrushes and toothpaste there today from good old Amazon, along with a few other things that are to come on the next videos, so stay tuned for that. Got the coil packs off, so they're not sitting outside, and I got uh, the starter off. The engine's only gonna sit outside until tomorrow anyway, so by the time you see this video, it'll be in my garage. Eh, that's the way she works, Jim. Hopefully it fits. What do you think? Leave your comments down below. Let me know if you think it's gonna fit. Second thoughts on maybe selling the Savari and getting a car and boosting a car. So, right, I'm second thoughts. She's gonna be a tight fit, Captain. But it should go. Maybe. Holy. I still think it'd be cool to have a six liter in a Safari. I just can't get over it. That intake's gotta go. Look at the size of that intake. What's really going on? I need a low pro, I do. Holly, if you're watching this, low pro and a Terminator Max X Max for cable throttle application. Jim, with the transmission controller. So Holly. How you doing? Friggin' right, how you doing? The intake and the, and the Holly, I'm probably another $2,700. So double what the engine and tranny cost me. But it would make it so much easier. Then I wouldn't have to use all that crap. Not too sure how to make all that crap work, to be honest with you. Anyways, I'm going to have to do some researching here. This is the first time for Dirty Old Bills to go electronic engines and fuel injections and stuff like that. I haven't done this since it was carburetor days. Leave your comments below if you're the same. But we're going to figure this out together, and we're going to see what happens, and we're going to go from there. So hopefully you stick around and watch this. Let me know in the comments below if you think I'm crazy. Let me know in the comments below if you have any ideas. Let me know in the comments below if you want to come over here and do it for me. Why wouldn't you? Eh? But anyways, love y'all. And until next time, you know what to do for him.